I would say they are directly responsible because uh, the pesticide they are selling is uh, uh, cloaked with certain kind of corporate responsibility. And in fact, even in the international guidelines, it says that the pesticide manufacturer should ensure that the use of the product uh, used in a safe ma manner and properly together with the uh, use of safe protective equipment. However, it is often left to the plantation company to deal directly with the workers and the uh, pesticide manufacturer uh, don't bother to check whether the workers are properly trained or are provided with proper protective equipment. So in the cases that we saw, uh, the workers uh, say that uh, they have never uh, seen pesticide uh, company, specifically Syngenta, who sold Gramoxone to the plantation. Uh, give them any training and they say that it's the plantation company who hire outside trainers to give them information and training and the training they give does not include the potential adverse effects of the pesticides so I think uh, uh, the uh, pesticide company uh, could be made responsible because of this and I think this is a violation of the international code of conduct in the proper use of pesticides, which has been uh, promulgated by the FAO with the concurrence of this pesticide company. Well, the Swiss government is, I would say, at least complicit in this uh, uh, situation because uh, the company is uh, registered in, uh, in uh, Switzerland and they allow by law to, for Syngenta to, uh, to sell the pesticide in another country where in fact in Switzerland itself uh, the paraquat or gramoxone is no longer allowed to be sold and therefore I think it is not only a moral responsibility but also a legal uh, responsibility uh, that they should uh, prevent uh, the company which pay taxes to the Swiss government. The Swiss government is benefiting from the sales of this toxic chemical and therefore that makes them also responsible for the adverse effects of the chemical being sold to a third country. And therefore, uh, we uh, recommend that Paraquat or Gramoxone, the brand name Gramoxone, should be banned internationally. <laughs>